Hey guys, what's happening? Today I will be showing you the best multitasking application for your Android device. Let's begin this video. There are thousands of applications in the Google Play Store, and a lot of those applications are there to make your life easier. Some of those applications allow for multitasking to occur so that you can get to other applications in a much faster way and you can toggle on any settings and maybe include some extra features that we would have never thought of. So I base my results on five simple applications and I will be counting them down from number five. So at number five, we have Sidebar. Sidebar is a brilliant multitasking application and to launch it is just slide your finger from the right side of the screen and you will be greeted with some customized favorite applications which you can implement on your own and even toggles that allow you to enable or disable system settings in a breeze. And towards the bottom of the bar, you have your running applications which you can kill by swiping them away. It's functional, simple, and I love the translucent feature included in the sidebar to allow you to see what is going on in the background. But the reason it is at number five is because sometimes I accidentally slide my finger on one of my favorite applications and it goes away, which then I have to add that application all over again and it could be a hassle. Also, that you cannot reorder the applications or toggles in your liking of choice is kind of annoying. So these are the reasons as to why this is at number 5. Taking a look at the next application, it's called Pi Control. Now this is free and somewhat popular back a couple months ago. Basically what Pi Control is, it's a set of buttons capable of being customized to open up an application or toggle on a setting. Now the application I am reviewing comes from the Play Store and everyone has the ability to use it, even non-root users. I know there are more out there, even better ones like LMT Launcher, but I just wanted to give everyone a chance at these applications. Now with this Pi Control application, you have the option of popping it up from either side of your screen and the bottom part of your screen as well. What really caught my attention was the response time when I wanted to pop up the Pi Controls, and the animations are gorgeous. A plus could also be that the extra clock widget is included, which when you pop up the Pi Controls, it is there to show you what time it is, the date, and your battery life. It's almost like a floating widget. The only downside about this application is the fact that you have a limited amount of controls and if you want to add more, you cannot. But don't get me wrong, this application is great for multitasking, it's just not as competitive as our next application, which is Swaps. Now taking a look at this application, when I swipe my finger from the side of my screen, I am greeted with a side launcher, displaying a section called Stared Application, which allows me to choose which applications I can use the most and it's not limited to just five. You can have up to a hundred. I'm not even joking. You can have up to a hundred different applications of your choosing. It also has your recently used applications and a list of all your installed applications in alphabetical order. Now the response time isn't as good as the Pi controls, but it's way faster and smoother. It also has a very simple and easy to use interface. The only downside would be getting an application or toggling on any simple task takes a larger amount of time depending on how many applications and toggles you have implemented into the sidebar. And having to scroll through dozens of applications just to get to one application or that one toggle seems like a hassle. But nonetheless, it's smooth, free, and it's the best application for switching over to other applications in the fastest amount of time possible. And number two, we have Edge. Now this application is very handy and makes the multitasking experience on Android much more snappy and intuitive. Now what really makes this application stand out from the rest is the response time when trying to pop up the application is just as good as the Pi Controls application, just as smooth as Swaps, and it has a translucent background just like Sidebar. It has all those three applications combined together and it allows you to toggle on settings and stared applications of your choosing. This app never seems to get in the way of what you're doing and it's quick and easy to use. That's what makes this application stand in second place. But at number one, we have Toucher, which is free in the Google Play Store. This is the quickest, easiest, and highest customizable way to fast access functionality. It stays on top of everything and you won't find this app to be laggy in any way possible. When you enable this application, you have a pointer that will never get in your way and it will always be there to allow you to have that ultimate multitasking experience. Tap on it and it will pop up with a menu of items. In the first tab, you have your home options. These are the toggles that you will most definitely use as locking your phone, getting a flashlight, or even opening up your task manager. 
In the next tab, you have your favorite tabs, which you can add as many applications as you want, and you can get the premium version, which allows you to add widgets and shortcuts right then and there. Next, you have your toggle section, which is just like quick settings on Android. If you scroll down, you will also have sound settings. In the last tab, you have the weather forecast. Now, what multitasking application has this included? None. It's like having your home screen, settings, applications, and notifications all at the click of a button. Not only that, but if you do not like the way it looks, you can use different themes to have it match you. There are dozens of themes to install, most of which are free and awesome looking. So this is why I see this application as the best multitasking application in the market. So all these applications will be down in the link in the description of this video to download. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you haven't already subscribed, well then, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Kapow!